This week, a story idea came to me from a place that I never expected it to. You're a writer, so you'll probably know this feeling. You want to write something, but you've got no story, or the stories that you do have just aren't doing it for you. What little time you have to write in is passing you by, and you're not getting anything down. That was me a few days ago. I was looking for a story, and when one arrived, it didn't come from where I thought. For once, it didn't take hours of concentration. The idea came to me. So what did I do to make that happen? Intense research, a long contemplative walk, browsing through old story fodder? No, I scrolled through TikTok. I know what you're thinking, but bear with me. I promise you this is valuable for writers. TikTok and places like it can be fantastic sources of story inspiration if you know where to look. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how one single TikTok inspired me to write a microfiction story and how you can build a breeding ground for your own story ideas easily and for free. You might be wondering exactly what kind of TikTok could have brought me an idea good enough to write about. After all, TikTok is mostly cat videos or dance routines, depending which side of it you're on. I actually almost scrolled straight past it, but something about that video stopped me in my tracks. Let's see if it has the same effect on you. I've had to change the song because of copyright, but here's the video that prompted my story. Seems fairly simple, and it is. So I started thinking to myself, why did this bring me a story? So I looked at it again, and the first thing that struck me about it, as it might have done for you, was the color of the sky. That's the thing that stopped me scrolling. And then I read the caption. The first thing you wanna see when you enter the afterlife. It's just one of many TikTok trends and video prompts, I suppose, but that, combined with the woodsy aesthetic, made me think of a journey and that was all it took for a story to begin to form. Before I tell you how I translated the inspiration from that video into a story, I wanna read you the story itself. It's 100 word microfiction. See if you can spot how it relates to the TikTok. It's called Fires. I will return one day and everything will be as it was before we saw the smoke on the horizon, before we hiked to the peak and saw fires in town and lost each other in the trees. Nothing moved as I called for you. The wind had no strength to move the trees against a glowing amber sky. I will return one day and you'll be home again. The air will be clear then. The trees will sway and whisper, though the sky will still be amber. We'll find each other again and everything will be as it was. Hopefully you can see how the story came about. And the reason I ended up happy with what I'd written is because I feel like it carries an emotional weight despite how short it is. So here's my method for turning inspiration into story. And it's something that I think any writer could replicate. Stories to me have always been comprised of two separate elements, the action or events. So what takes place during the story and the message or the meaning of the story. When the idea for any story comes to me, it'll be from one of these two elements. Either I'll see some actions taking place or I'll kind of feel the point I wanna make with the message. The reason this TikTok led me so quickly to a story is because it did both. The action and events, the character returns home or enters the afterlife, the meaning or the message, something is lost that can't be regained, at least not in this life. That's roughly the message anyway. The fact that both of those elements came to me at the same time meant that I had a detailed picture of what I wanted the story to be in my mind's eye, and that made writing the story easier. If I just had the actions and events, then I could have written the story using only that, but it would have been a bit like this. I rushed through the trees, frantically shouting your name, but you didn't reply, there was smoke in the air. Which is fine, but I don't really think it carries much emotional weight. And if I'd only had the meaning and message side, the story would have been too abstract and hard to visualize for a reader. Having both elements present is what I think makes readers feel something when they're reading. And that's surely what we're all aiming for as writers. Well, that method's all well and good when you've actually found the inspiring thing. But how do I do that? Does this mean I have to download TikTok? No. In truth, it really doesn't have to be a TikTok at all. Inspiration for me is actually just a combination of two common things and you can find them in a million places. 
The two things that generally prompt that storytelling part of my creative mind are music and images. Where text-based story prompts can be too specific to bring stories to me, music and images are far more open. The breeding ground for stories, in my opinion, should be vast and open and it should be filled with things that appeal to your own personal brand of creativity. That's what music and images do for me. They can work separately, but as I've now discovered, they're most effective when I combine them. That's what happened when I saw the TikTok. It was a combination of the image on screen and the music behind it that combined like a flint and steel and created a spark in my mind. So now, if I'm short on ideas, I can put on a playlist of music that makes me feel creative, like soundtracks or instrumental stuff, and I can find images or videos to watch while I'm listening and combine the two. You can use whatever kind of music you like, but for the video side, they actually have a secret tip. It's as simple as knowing what to look for and where to look for it. What I do is I search stock footage sites for stuff like drone footage to find ideas for settings, and when I combine it with music, I get something like this. Which is way more inspiring to me than a text-based story prompt, hence more ideas that come easier. Give it a try yourself, and once you have your story, watch this video for some ideas about how to bring your story to life. As always, thank you so much for watching and happy writing.